Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In previous videos, we have learned about different techniques of how to transfer files from Kali machine to Windows machine. Uh, in this particular video, we will learn how to transfer file using Netcat. So, <clears throat> this is a famous uh, technique which is used by a lot of pentesters and a lot of uh, practitioners. So, we'll go ahead and try to uh, transfer file from Windows to Kali machine using netcat. So we'll first transfer the netcat.exe to Windows as it's not an inbuilt tool we need to transfer it. So I'll just go here I have a lot of Windows scripts here so I will just uh, transfer this netcat file uh, to Windows. So for that I will host web server here so the, from with this using this web server we can transfer file from Linux to my, uh, Windows. So I'll quickly go to Windows machine, CMD. Now I'll try to, or you can just open uh, PowerShell. In PowerShell I can get wget HTTP. 192.168.102.1 This is my Kali Linux IP and what file I want to access is this one and where do I need to store that like this and it should give us netcat here and once I get the netcat uh, we, sh we can transfer it using netcat.exe uh, IP of Kali 162.131 and what is the port you want to connect to or and which file you want to transfer right so before doing that I'll create a dummy file uh, echo this is a test file and I will name it as test.txt and I want to transfer that test.txt so before hitting enter I, I will first come to Kali and try to first I've already transferred the netcat you can see the request which we got here so I will close that cancel that so now what I'll do is I'll try to listen on netcat netcat minus l minus p which port i want to listen on and what do i do with the information i listen i'll just store it in test test file dot txt so i'll click enter here so now as we are listening here i'll try to i'll go to windows and try to send this file into that stream so if i click enter here and if I come back to Linux and check for this specific file, grab test test file. Uh, we can't see anything because this is case sensitive. I just need to use capital F. So I'll try cat test file. I still can't see anything oh, because I haven't clicked on enter on there. Yep, I have done that now. Now I'll check for this in the Kali. And I can see the file has been transferred. It's as simple as that. So we can transfer any kind of file using Netcat as well from Windows to Kali. So we have transferred. First, we have transferred from Kali to Windows using Python web server, and then we have transferred another file from Windows to Kali using Netcat. So, this is an easy technique, and if, if this can be used as a fall fallback methodology, if you know, just in case if something else doesn't work, such as FTP server doesn't work or SMB server doesn't work, we can just try to leverage this to transfer the files. Thank you.